Hello, my TKs. All right, let's go ahead and follow the directions at the bottom to see what colors these square, these shapes should be. First one, we need a yellow square. So let's go ahead and color this yellow square in. Mrs. Gorospe's strategy for coloring is to make the lines on the outside so they act like a barrier to stop her from coloring outside the lines when she does the middle. Then we need a blue circle. Blue circle. Ah, blue circle. So, Mrs. Grosby will draw on the outside, make a barrier so she doesn't color beyond the shape. Here we go. A red rectangle. And a blue rectangle. Whoops. All right. There are our shapes. Now, sort them into the categories. What are our categories this time? By size, small and big. So if you look here, I'll bring this up a little closer, we have our square, circle, rectangle, and rectangle. Which one do you think are, is a small, rec, a small shape? Just this itty bitty rectangle. The other shapes are plenty big. So we're going to add them. in the space that says big. All right, now our paper is asking, we're looking for a category with one shape. Was it the small category or the big category? My eyes show me small. How many categories, how many categories had one shape? Only one. There we go. And that's it for that first page. When you flip it over, oh my, you have four shapes here. Which shape do you think does not belong? <laughs> we have a small, 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 large shape or big shape. That one sticks out definitely. So we will bubble in the circle. We have a 3D shape here. Does anyone remember what it was called? The cylinder. How many, how many flat surfaces does a cylinder have? How many flat surfaces does a cylinder have? The answer is two. All right, we have another cube train showing us two different kinds of colored cubes. We have white and gray. Now when I look at the answers, I see what math symbol do they all have? They have minus or subtraction. So that means that this is showing take apart. It does not have the circle and the X's, so it's not taking away any cubes, but it is taking it apart. So how many cubes are in this train all together? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five, a five train, and then it's split up into how many white, how many gray. There are two white and three gray. So which math sentence shows that there is a cube of a cube train of five that have taken apart three and two. That's right over here, my dear friends. That is how you would take away or take apart, sorry, excuse me, 
take apart your cube train to show subtraction. All right, TKs, thank you for doing that along with Mrs. Garospi. See you next time.